Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have the GTX 275 Super Clock from EVGA. It features red, also 896 megabytes of memory, and a new variation of the GT200 chip from NVIDIA. So stay tuned, we'll tell you more about this card. Now you might think to yourself, this is an awfully wide shot for such a small product. What's all that big empty blue space over there? Well, to best explain the GTX 275 896 megabyte video card and its positioning, we will be employing a teaching aid today, the TTWB or Tech Tips whiteboard. So, the 275 is right here positioned between the 285 and the 260. You can see that it is clocked lower, it has a lower memory bus, so that means it interfaces with the memory slower. However, it has higher clocked memory, it has fewer ROPs, but it has the same number of stream processors. So that's how it compares to the 285. Now, the 260 to 16, it is higher clocked, it has the same number of Oh, it has the same memory bus, sorry, it has the same, no more SPs. You can see how confusing this is. <laughs> it has a higher memory clock, but it has actually the same amount of memory. So that's 896 megs, whereas the 285 is a one gig card. Now the 295 is a special situation because it is a dual GPU card. So it has lower clocks on both the GPU and the RAM. However, it's pretty much exactly double the 275 in every other way in the feature set, so that means it's basically two 275s, slightly lower clocks, but there's two of them. So that's pretty much it. So let's get down to the details. What are the actual performance and specifications of this card? Well, first of all, it performs very well compared to its uh, price partner, the ATI Radeon 4890. It does come away from the 4890, especially at high resolutions, and one big advantage it has is much lower idle power consumption. That means that whenever you're at your desktop, reading emails, doing anything that doesn't use your video card, the GTX 275 will produce le or will consume less power. Now, you've also got your two dual link DVI connectors. You've got two SLI connectors. That means you've got support for SLI as well as tri-SLI, should you desire it. You've got two P PCIe six pin power connectors. So that means you gotta make sure you've got those on your power supply before you try to install this card. A 16X PCIe interface. And I think that pretty much does it for features on this card. It's a great performer at a great price. And uh, I think we can almost wrap this thing up here. So, uh, oh, hold on, this just in. Uh, I think there might be something we didn't mention here, but okay. Anyway, thank you for, okay, 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 fine. So as you can see here, we've got a, a note we ought to talk about CUDA and physics. So the GTX 275 does include support for CUDA, that means bada boom, a couple other applications, as well as GPU physics calculations. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.